Hey my lovelies, this is Matulu and today I'm showing you how to make a spiced apple and banana crumble. Now this is a creation that I just created on site. I've definitely made apple crumble before but not in this format, especially using the bananas as an addition to the crumble. So here it goes, we have two gala apples which should have came up on the screen already, mm -hmm, I'm behind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're going to simmer this for roughly about 15 minutes. You're going to see me add some spices, some wild African honey, and some other bits and bobs. It was delectable, delicious, satisfying, especially as we had a heat wave in London yesterday. It was horrendous. This definitely brought me some joy, some equilibrium. Most importantly, some joy, because I'm heavily pregnant. Okay. So here we go. We have our spices, ginger allspice and some salem cinnamon make sure it's salem i also sweetened with a bit of wild african honey and we have the sea moss gel this helps to thicken the sauce a bit it's beautiful it's a wonderful addition i encourage you to add the sea moss why not it's nutritionally dense you might as well okay So here I pressed some um, apple juice previously. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that as well and let that simmer for a while. Now moving on to our banana crumble. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a wonderful invention. I'm going to do this again and again and again. This is wonderful four small baby bananas also known as fig one cup of kamut flour roughly about two to three tablespoons of the coconut oil it was very uh, you know runny because it had melted due to the heat wave so if you're gonna if you're gonna use coconut oil that has been sitting for a while and it's solidified then just use like roughly maybe two to three tablespoons that should be fine add in a bit of agave as you saw you can use date uh, sugar instead or date powder, which is the same thing. Make sure though, make sure you read the back of the label of the date powder slash sugar, okay? Season it with a bit of salem cinnamon again. And this is it really. Oh, and some more spice. And that's it, my lovely, very simple. So this is what the apple looked like after I'd simmered it down for roughly about 15 minutes in my baby salad master. And me, I love a thick crumble. I like my layers of crumble thick okay i like it thick mm -hmm. so we're gonna lay that on and we're gonna bake that on a medium heat for roughly 25 minutes oh oh yes i sprinkle some of the date powder on it so what date powder is, is for those of you that don't know date sugar is this dried or dehydrated dates and it's powdered yes wonderful alternative to cane sugar isn't it and that is the beauty. Look at it. Oh, okay. Now, mm -hmm, we turn God. We're onto the cream. I wanted like a cream, a soft serve ice cream slash cream. Yes. So I'm working with some vanilla pod. I don't like using the paste or the tincture form looking thing. It has alcohol and all this crap. So anyway, moving on. Uh, pine nuts is the base and three tablespoons of coconut cream. Wonderful flavor. I also added a bit of agave to this, or was it wild honey? One of the two. You can use either or. So I'm putting it in my ice tray because I want to freeze it a little bit because I wanted something really cold. Like I said, we had a heat wave. It's horrendous. I didn't freeze mine for too long because I just wanted more of like a creamy texture rather than, you know, like a hard on ice cream. Yeah, look at that beauty. Oh, it was so lovely. I really enjoyed myself. I hadn't had a dessert in such a long time. And here I just top it off with some wild honey again. The African wild honey, to be more precise. I trust that you enjoy this recipe. 